All right. Good evening and welcome to Football in Vivo on Club Deportes, show number 19. We air every Monday at 10 p.m. on clubdeportes.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, at Football Austin, F-U-T-B-O-L Austin, where David Alvarez has been tweeting his heart out. <laughs> you can now follow those tweets, at Football Austin, F-U-T-B-O-L Austin. Also follow Club Deportes, at Club Deportes, for all the latest and greatest sports news and commentary. Be sure to visit clubdeportes.com. I am your host, Eric McCoy, and I am joined by a man who has won Liverpool as many Premier League titles as Steven Gerrard. It's David Alvarez. Ah, uh, did yes, David. <laughs> what? How many did they win? <laughs> you and Steven Gerrard have each won Liverpool the exact same number of Premier League titles, David. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. you very much, sir. Thank That's you. It. I appreciate Tremendous it. Tremendous achievement. High, high company. Great, high company. great introduction. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, I am also joined by a man who promises not to waste your time like an Orlando City goalkeeper taking a goal kick. It's Jorge Chavez. Yeah, classic time wasting. <laughs> very, very classic. I mean, it's becoming a tradition already. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's since LA. Of, it's just part when of the LA game. Go, the delay, and uh, I have goalie. a comment on that uh, that I'd like to expand on later. Okay, well, let's uh, let's not waste any time yeah. here, shall we, guys? Let's get right into this. Um, so, okay, uh, just to recap: two red cards, a penalty, a goal in the second minute. A goal in the 95th minute. Uh, yep. uh, Jorge, uh, was this uh, the craziest game? Austin FC's 2-2 draw, of course, uh, Sunday night at Q2 against Orlando City. Was this the craziest match in Austin FC's history? Oh, by far. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's just nuts. I mean, I thought that, it was 3-2. I don't know that, why. It, it, fe- <laughs> it feels like a loss. I think we were talking about I, I that. Thought, I, I mean, when you're, when you're tweeting does, as much as you were during the match, yeah, it's possible the for only time not really keeping track hey, of the actual, I hear that's yeah. my fir- action on the field. My first tweet since 2009. <laughs> yeah, you, you, <laughs> you, you could have introduced you, that. You were making up for lost time. And I, yeah, I want yeah. you to be clear. <laughs> I mean, Club Deportes does not pay you by the tweet. The more you tweet, Try, it doesn't increase trying to catch your, up. It doesn't it's not your, your, your wages. But, yeah. uh, well, well, but, but it did, it did. But I felt like it was a loss. So really, I thought we should have won. We 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 had ten minutes, <laughs> almost twenty minutes with two, two more players. Yeah, no excuse. It's no excuse to to score more goals. So that's what I felt like a loss. I mean, okay, so I, it felt it, like a loss to like, you, David. How, how did you feel about it? Right? It felt like a loss. But but the the thing is that that. Um, I was impressed in this in this in this sense. I mean, uh, David, you could probably correct me, but mm-hmm. when a team goes down to nine men, what do they automatically do? They park the bus. Yeah, and they packed yeah. the penalty box. I mean, they, they you did. could not get. I mean, uh, as we, uh, if any was any was there or saw the game, uh, but it was it wasn't after the, after the, after, the, after it went to nine men, they had the wings all to themselves. Yeah. Uh, Austin, if but so look at that. Go was the, or, that was Stuver's. Yeah, that error. was, that was a was big error. When yeah, playing out from the minute. back it seems goes like he, wrong. he tried to hit the ball away. It, Pereira gives the ball. Like he tried to look. Okay, he's looking up, but he missed he, the he kick. Missed, he missed the he kick. Missed the he kick. missed the totally kick. Totally missed, he missed the kick. It. Yeah. And to be Definitely. fair to Stuver, he owned up to this after the match. He yeah. said, hey, this this was my bad. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, you and know. And then Ruti has this, this post, too. I mean, that was so close. close. That was I really the inside close. Inside of the post. It can't get any closer than that. Yeah. And any small little bounce, it would have gone straight to... Straight to, uh, to Fagundes. Uh, yeah, to Fagundes. Fagundes. Yeah. And he would have had an open shot. And so... But in here, look at... I think Lima was lazy there, and then so was uh, Cascante. Yeah. Cascante, they, they, Lima, they, Cascante. It seems like a repeat of, like, the <coughs> La, uh, Galaxy games. Because both yeah. of them kind of very, very weak on the, on, on the side, allowing the cross... And and, and I and I, and I attribute Orlando. I attribute that to the fact that and uh, Stuver's missed too. I yeah. think Stuver got got responsibility in that goal too. He, he could have held on yeah. to it instead of but just there, it away. But there, he's Stuver. He he. But he, he made did, he, he, make he, he did three well or four saves. Yeah, like yeah credit say. to Stuver for recovering from that early mistake. You yeah, know, keeping his head in the game right. and, and still following through, making some big stops. Four four nice save. And and then you see Wolf influence here. Wolf really a couple of three clear assists, nice assists for by Wolf, and this end up in the. Gallagher uh, and the, and the handball. This right? this is where Two the weirdness the started. This is where that it starts getting one, a little crazy. One uh, yellow right after another yellow for the same call for a handball. 
Uh, and Drizzy wants the ball right away. So yeah, oh, yeah. Like, he, he, give he, me the ball. I, that's he went right he away. W- yeah. Was this a deserved second yellow in penalty, Jorge? Uh, yes, because he, he, he moved his, his hand towards where the ball was going, even though he kept it inside. And so, hey, Golazo, yeah, Lucy, and Gallese had a piece of that ball. He had a piece of, that, a piece ball. of that ball. It's always ball. risky when you go right down the middle right like the middle. that. Yeah. And yeah. And he, he, he lifted up, and that, but it was yeah, too powerful. And, and, and I saw the re- I, I recorded the game, and when I saw the replay, he, Healy said that Gallese has topped one of the top uh, penalty kickers yeah, he, he's one ever. of the best ones. I he can has see that. Stopped them. I, I can now, see that. Now, this why. call was. I mean, I think Orlando. Orlando here. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking. He didn't even touch him. Yeah, he did. And he. No. He didn't touch it the, on the, the groin. No, 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 no. The Orlando player didn't touch him. Yeah, he did. No, no, I mean, I'm sorry. King Ring didn't touch him. I'm, 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 no, Ring, Ring, no. He got him on the balls. Oh, yeah. Ring did not touch him. <laughs> we're, we're a family At show, Tapi. Yeah. We're a family show. Okay, Alexander, I think, I think Alexander that's a deserve, Ring did that's not a, touch oh, the, the was, Orlando I mean, player. That, I mean, so there was no reason for the Al- Ren- Orlando player to retaliate like that. No, no, no. no it was, no, that, that, that's the, a pretty clear. He, he put the kick and he keep kicking it and missed. Yeah, and, and he didn't even. He didn't so it was, it was weird. And and so. And what what and a, a, a another. I wouldn't oh, not be a side in something too tough. Great sub because you know Gite became a factor. Right, he, he, he a was a factor. Yeah, and he, like this is what uh, every and, Austin fan was waiting for. And then, and, uh, and then that's the twice goal. the inside of the post the was struck the post. By, by Austin FC. In this I match. think this is a goal, sh- goal kick. If I must, no, no, no. Uh, this no, save, this, this one, great save, great save, great save. save. Because, uh, yeah. I was, when he's not I time guess, wasting, yeah, he can, he can make a pretty good stop. Yeah, and, and to be fair, all of the Orlando players were time wasting. There were several. Uh, players that got yellow cards for doing that. I mean, I think you, you well, could have had you about have 15 minutes shot. of stoppage. Have time. Have now, that, this, this one. In the ninth, N- ninth, nice job minute. of staying on site. Man, uh, and, and people one went time crazy. Oh, they, over there, people went crazy. Live, was I, I was worried he was offside. It was, I, I was no. kind of waiting for my celebration. Yeah. Because I, I kind of thought uh, he was offside. Uh, and I, and he I, wasn't. He was, was not I'm kind of surprised they didn't check it, even though they would have been good anyway, but... And here's the end of the game. I mean, yeah, uh, and I, game. look at the Orlando they, City players. They, they well, what do you think about that, Debbie? They just surround the referee right here what? at the end. <laughs> I, I don't know. What are they doing for, 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 for? I mean, should I be it's, the other way it's around? It's their fault. I mean, <laughs> yeah. what, what, this, what are your this, thoughts? Is, this is what I want to get to. Okay, let's go for and, it. And it's, a, and it's a, maybe you guys, would have, and you had that I've experienced with this. What's the point of time wasting when you're ahead or when you're in a tie? Because... That just, if you're time wasting, that's just giving the other team more opportunity, more time at the end of the game to do something like this. If Orlando had not time wasted, by the time they, they, had, they had nine men, they would, would have played just regular, there would have been no added time, and there would have been no win. And there would have been a win by Orlando. So what is the point? If, the, if, if they know, they know, every player knows, that even though they time waste, the referee is going to take into account all the time that they're wasting and at, at the end of the game. What's the point? I, I, I understand your, your point there, Jorge, but seven minutes was what was added on. Yeah. Honestly, if you were to accurately put on the, the correct amount of right. time that was wasted, I think it would have been a plus 20 minutes. Well, yeah, it would have been a lot more. In the Premier League. Like, so if you would be in the Premier so League, that would happen. Which, which I think is why you do it, because yeah. you're never going to get the, the true amount of time wasted added on at the end, it's right. never gonna because yeah, I, like I said, I think it was about 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, it, that was, we saw it, was, it was a Gaise, lot of time. That you know, every every time around. he got a hold of the ball, he would fall down, you know, lay on the ball for a few minutes, yell at the referee, yell at an Austin okay. FC player, and then they you know, bounce the I ball mean, around. And then Cram- they, cramps make, in the 60th minute. Yeah, go, yeah. go, go get a drink of and water. Sub, yeah, oh, and this oh. making the substitution, you know, at yeah. the last five minutes. That but was, but that's on the referee though, right? Yeah, yeah. Be, like he has to enforce. I mean, he didn't show Gaise a yellow card till. Nearly Way the very at the end, end of the match. Yeah. yeah. Nearly the very end so of the match. So that's why Orlando, why the Orlando players were right, right, uh, surrounding the the referee for what reason? I don't because uh, because I think I think they wanted to be strictly seven minutes, and when they saw it was ninety nine, it was two extra minutes. That Austin almost scored in those extra two minutes, and I think that's probably why they were angry right. about it. But, but by the when when seven minutes was added on, it was already at the ninety third minute. When they when and and if I'm not mistaken, there was an injury. Uh, I'll have to have to, I'll have to rewatch. Yeah, but there we yeah, go. Yeah, here we again, go again. Right and, and it was all, and it was all the players and the coaches. 
and the assistant coaches. They were all around him. Uh, There's probably going to be some disciplinary uh, psych, uh, stuff but, going on there, but I don't. I, I mean, if I would be Orlando, I would feel bad for what what would they? I mean, I, they, I mean, they, they got lucky. They got lucky because Orlando really the first half they could have easily score have three goals. Easily. Yeah, absolutely. Because the, what happened at the, at the end of the day, uh, I think Orlando had, what, about seven shots on goals? Yeah. Had had seven shots on goals. Yeah, was, I, I mean, was, yeah. That's so 28% few. possession yeah, during the game. So that's, what, that's did really good, what did he tell you? Honest. He tell you that they're very effective. I mean, that's – and they were almost could have been a three goal because – we got lucky. Yeah. You know, one one of the time the, the guy just missed I don't, a couple I, goals that missed easy goals. I think eleven v eleven Austin FC were, were definitely second best. In yeah, the yeah match, definitely for yeah. sure. And, but and, then but, when, when but, they, but but I well I mean we, the the question was asked if it, if if this was this felt like a loss and it did, but then again I don't think it did. I feel, it felt like like a tie because it's very hard to score when you have nine people in the box. Yeah, just difficult. So do you to think score. Austin FC could so, have done more against against Orlando City uh, against nine men? Uh, probably not. Uh, it's probably a fair result because Orlando was not going to attack again. They were either going to go for when they lost the the, the, the lead. They were going to they were going to more than satisfied with the tie, Be, knowing that they were nine men down. They were going to attack again. So it, it was very hard for. Uh, Austin to create an attack and to create any opportunities. So I, I want to get you guys' thoughts on this. I was talking to a friend of the show, Miguelito, before we, okay. we went on air. And yeah. the point he brought up was that Austin FC, they sent so many players forward whenever going up against nine men of Orlando right. City that they actually, it made it easier for Orlando because you had so many players just in the box in that congested area and you're just trying to launch cross after cross in that it actually would have been to Austin FC's benefit to try and draw Orlando City out more, not send as many players forward, to try and pull those Orlando City defenders out of their own penalty area. And I thought it was a great point from Megalito. I'm going to steal it from him and, and present it to you guys yeah. on this show here. We'll start with you, David. Is, is that something that you think Austin FC could have done more? Maybe not push that many players. I mean, you had Cascante, a center back, pushed up into the penalty area, basically yeah. playing as a striker yeah. at, at the end. Uh, Kip Keller was really the only defender Austin FC kept back. Could they have maybe <laughs> not pushed as many players forward and had more success drawing Orlando City uh, out of their defensive shape? Yeah, I mean, they could, could, would have uh, so many. <laughs> could have, would have, should have. You're, you're never going to yeah, agree with Michelito, yeah, are you? You're, you're never going <laughs> to. It's not never about that. It's like, yeah, I mean, it's done. I mean, it's, there's something to talk about the game and this, what happened to have so much... I mean, only t took 12 shots in uh, seven on, on, on shot um, Orlando, and we took 22, I think, 22, 22 shots. shots. 22 and shots. five, only five on shot on goal. Um, what, what did he, I mean, I think we need to be starting worrying about things that we did and things that we would have done. Because obviously there is something that we have not done is to practice this type of situation. We have been, this is not the first time there's a situation when we have one this one, one more player but in this case we have two more players. two more players so yeah we could have done something better but i think we need to get the experience right we don't have the experience and definitely something better could have done because 20 minutes 69 minutes right that we have two more two more players it's like a long time and it felt like it was 10 minutes yeah. May have and only it, been ten minutes of actual like yeah. soccer play. Yeah. Soccer play, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ten yeah. point and, and not much time to to do anything. Yeah. Really, I mean, we, I mean, we did, we did, we did score, but it, it felt that we could have done way better with that amount of time. But also, we could have done better before in the first half and not being dominated by 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 Orlando like we did. Yeah, it was it was a it was a, a uh, that second minute goal really I think threw them off a little bit. Uh, not not so much, but after the second goal, that's when they were they looked disorganized. And and some sometimes the people, my friends, tell me, hey, this is like a, we kind of used to it, to see the philosophy of of Wolf and and, and Austin FC to play the ball back to the goalie. Yeah. Play okay, back so do you, to that, the that's back. actually perfect, Debbie. That was my next question. Playing out <laughs> from the back, we we know yes. we, this has been a hot topic on our show on Austin FC Twitter. Do Austin FC, are they too committed to playing out from the back, Davi? Should, yeah, they Should they are. perhaps go a bit more direct? They're too committed to do that. I mean, we're getting, like, that's how was the main comment was, okay, 
this is going to be, obviously it's going to happen. It's not for the first time that happened so clearly, but hey, this is a recurrent theme that we have and how we need to solve it because, I mean, we are in the sec second in the league, uh, but it seems like we need more consistency in this type of situation and this type of games where we easily could have lose the game with two more players. Well, yeah. What are your thoughts oh, on, right. on, on the playing out from the back? I, I, I agree with, uh, with, with David that we, we, Austin FC really shouldn't, they don't have the experience to do that yet. Uh, the, and because that, there was that, one, that second minute goal. Then in Houston, there was an, another error when they tried to play the ball back. And I saw Stover way forward for the first few minutes that it caused him to be out of position on the first goal and he, where he got injured. So there's at least two examples of goals being produced by playing that way. But again, that's Josh Wolf's philosophy. They, they want to maintain possession, and part of that maintaining of possession is playing the ball to the back. But I, I, th it doesn't have to happen. They need to have the guys, you know, the, the four guys in the back be better ball handlers. And I know that Lima and, and, Kask and uh, Cole Manich and, and Gallagher, who's really a forward <laughs> and <laughs> playing in, in, in the back. So they have that offensive mind. H Jimenez as well, but he's a little more balanced. Mm. But they need to have those guys be better ball handlers to just pass it amongst themselves to get to the right, to the right angle or position and not rely so much on the back. Because if... if what you saw in this in this game with Orlando is that they were a pressing team, and they pressed up front, mm -hmm. and that caused them to for that for that that playing to the back to the goalkeeper. This is the type of thing that happened, because if it wasn't a pressing team, they'd only have one guy out there, and they could mm -hmm. have easily passed between Stuver and the two left the left back and the right back. But it, it wasn't. They were up there, and so what, all they, all they needed. I, I think I commented to uh, someone in Twitter. All they needed was one small little miss hit. Which is exactly what happened to Stuver, mm -hmm. and then you have a goal. I, go ahead. I'm, no, go, no. I'm gonna come in hot here, David. Okay, go I, ahead. I'm ready. Because I actually I'm gonna defend playing out from the back and Austin right. FC and Austin FC doing it. Because I feel it's a bit like when you have like a a corner kick and you're defending the corner kick and, and teams defend in a zonal marking formation. Whenever that fails, everyone blames the, the zonal marking system. Right. When it's man-to-man -man and, and man-to-man -man fails, they blame the individual. I, I think in this instance, Stuver owned up to it after the match. He made a mistake. That doesn't necessarily mean playing out from the back as a whole is something that Austin FC shouldn't do. It just means don't make the, don't make the mistake. And we see, we see some mistakes with, with Austin FC playing out from the back. But I, to, to me, it, it's, it's worth the risk whenever you, you, you can – Draw those defenders forward and then create that space in behind. I would like to see maybe a bit more directness from Austin FC. And I actually think last season versus this season, that is, that is one of the things that Austin FC have improved upon is going direct a bit more frequently. I think there is a more directness to this team this season versus last season. But in general, keep playing out from the back. Whenever it, whenever it fails, don't necessarily blame the philosophy just just blame the player to say it was a mistake in the same in the same way that you would if you know, you, you try to play it long, the opposition wins the ball and, and drives straight back down and, and scores a goal. You, you would blame the, you know, the defender or, or the, the attacking player for not winning the ball up the field. That, that's how I see it. I say don't blame, I mean, don't blame the philosophy. Hey, just blame, uh, the, just blame I mean, the mistake. I, I, I mean... Okay. I, I mean, why not? They're going to blame both of them. He's going to blame it's everyone, Tommy. Just blame everyone. everyone. Just blame everyone. It's just, I mean, obviously there is a problem with the system because you, you're you not, I mean, I think... Is it? Did, it's did second place. Tube, like, it, it's just uh, okay, but Hold on. How many times did Stuver touch the ball? Touch, didn't he touch the ball twice? He, there, he touched the ball twice there. He did a cut. He did There's no need to touch the ball twice. No need to... That's, 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 okay, so that's on Stuver. Well, that's not on the philosophy. Well, uh, that, that's what we talked about before, that we have seen this happen before. Right. And the philosophy is, is this for me. At least, if you're going to play from the back, but don't play with a goalie that is not that good, technically. If it's not going to happen, don't play with them. And you're not going to have the problem. You're not going to have this type of problem if you're going to play. But also, it's just like, you know that's going to happen. You know, he gets into that mode, Stuber, sometimes, you know, and, and then... 
it just reminds me also how other other teams play against Austin. All the effective player uh, teams that play against Austin usually have physical teams, are strong teams, physical that could keep the pressure and pressure. Yeah, and, they, and they that's what happened in this front, situation. Yeah. And in the situation and pressure, the best the best goal is get. We have Ederson have oh, happened to him. You know, we happened to many of the best best goalies, and why not Stuber? You know, and then he played very good later, and he made so many saves. And, and but I, still, I'm still saying that that way to play, do not play with him. Don't play with Stuber. Don't play with Stuber from the back. I, I think that's why Stuber's in there. Over, he's going to get nervous I again. He's going to get nervous again. It's going to happen I, again. I don't, I don't think and he's going to get like, nervous. I think... Uh, when, uh, but when the other good. thing I was just... Came, and I want to go around that is the fact that... Like, if you remember Fernandez and Manchester United, he made a mistake. He gave a huge pass to the back. Yeah. So there is some things in, 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 in football when, when you're a coach, never pass the, back, the ball back or never pass it to the middle. No matter what. But the other, there's another philosophy. Yeah, no, just pass the ball. You can, you can pass the ball. No, for me, ever, just never do that. Never pass just, if you're back. gonna start from the back, don't give it to the bad guy. He's he <laughs> he's he's gonna, he's give it to the bad guy. Don't give it to the bad guy or the guy that's gonna get nervous. Yeah, as simple as that. So that's, and Stuber that's is that guy for you. Yes, in this case. I I don't think he's. Uh, I mean, oh, I, think, oh, I mean, I think. We don't well, have what, a what happens is that we have it, I mean, Stuber has been in the bench for like most of his career. I mean, to be honest, <laughs> that is true. Uh, that is uh, true. So that it's not. True, it's not. It's not like it's new to this. And I think we have two good goalies. I mean, they definitely. I, I, mean, look, I think Stuber's much better with the ball at his feet than Tarbo. I think. I think that's part of yeah, why that is he's. True. I think that's, that's, that's part that's of why he's. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, but, but, but the guy, thing is that that it, it's much. They do not. They keep for two years now. They've played the same philosophy. And I can count the number of times Stuver has messed up in the palm, in, in one hand. It's three or four times. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. happens. There's every there's a hit every once in a while. Yeah. Does that every mean, now and then it happens? Now, now it they they don't stop playing that way just because there's an error. They keep playing the same way. And we we just we just said Silver played well the rest of the game, but that did change the way that they, conditioned the entire they game. Did they did condition change the conditions the of the entire game. This year, I think the big difference is that even though they're playing the same philosophy as last year, one big factor is Gabrielson. Mm-hmm. He he tends to be a better controller of that sort of situation that I haven't seen them pass as much mm-hmm. to Stuber as they are to Gabrielson because Gabrielson is a much better ball handler. Yeah, Gabrielson very uh, adept. And, and, and so he's very adept. So... To me, it was very interesting that he felt ill. It wasn't an injury. Yeah, it was illness. It was illness uh, in the 20th minute, if I'm mistaken. Mm. So, obviously, Kip Keller is not the same t- type of player as, yeah. G- as Ruben Gabriel. A little bit of live wire. So, a little bit yeah, of wire. It's, it's not as skillful. <laughs> I think, I think it's Youthful he, he's exuberance. Not there. Yeah, yeah. And so, I think they really, really missed Gabriel's in the rest of the game because yeah, of that. Point. Yeah. Well, I would have loved to have seen Valencia enter the game Instead of Kip Keller, because even though it's the same position, but if they had Valencia in there, he could have he so could have Valencia done a decent a, job at center back. Center back. Yeah, it would have been interesting, but but he's got more experience than Kip Keller, and, and so he and a better ball, ball handling skill. So it would have been interesting, but well, it, just, it, it was Keller, such, a, it's such, well, such an Keller unfortunate. Brings, uh, he brings size, you know. Keller brings Get, size. Br- yeah, that's, that's, that's how, how did you rate his performance overall? I thought I mean, it, it was, was good. He did fine. It was fine. It was pretty, yeah. pretty fine. I, he I mean, he did better than, than against LA for sure. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Very, uh, very, very was, lucky not to. Yeah, he did. There, I think he's still looking for his hips. Okay, so another player I have a question about: guy that started the these last two matches. Teen Wolf, as he's become known, Owen Wolf. Uh, but how would you rate? We'll start with you, Jorge. How would yeah. you rate Owen Wolf the, these last two matches? He's moment? he's done very well. I mean, he, uh, two different situations. Uh, I thought him and I, we called it that he was. That I, if I'm the second, humbly say I called it. We got the master that, prognosticator that, that, right that, here. That, mm-hmm. that that young Owen Wolf was going to start one of these two games. I didn't start them both. Him, I didn't expect to start them both, but he did. And he did well. I mean, uh, to start a game How well away do you think, in L.A., that's, do you think that's he big. did? Because I've seen a lot of lot of praise heaped on young Owen. Right. Um, yeah, like one to ten. How how would you rate him over these? Two I'd matches? give him a seven. Oh, uh, average on both games. Uh, though he did he did a couple of things that were 
you know, rookie, I guess you could say, mistakes. He's only 17 again. 17. So, uh, what were you, know, you doing at 17, David? Were you playing um, professional sports at 17? Not professional sports. I was playing as Premier Division in my hometown. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> run, 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 right <laughs> ass what, there. What, what, <laughs> but, what, but, what Premier <laughs> Division, David? What, what Premier Division was it? Well, in, my, in those old days, it was just like the top, the top uh, division in, in my hometown. Oh, wow. Said, wow. Wow. I was 17. I was. I yeah. mean, with my brother. Me and my brother both. So you can like relate to. to so you can um, relate to. Yeah, yeah. To being that, you know, those nerves and the you know, yeah. butterflies in the and stomach. I, they, and, but, you know, I had some black shoes. There's some Nikes, but they didn't have, they weren't really soccer shoes. Ah. They, they were just regular shoes. Just regular shoes. Nice but shoes they, to play since with. they were black, they, they passed by, you know. And it's like the, the referee <laughs> didn't check. He didn't check them. <laughs> So. But deceiving referee yeah. even at a young age. So, so, yeah. But but back to back to Owen Wolf. I mean, he he did he did really good. I mean, um, I think Wolf was asked a couple of months back, and it was not well received. Who he thought it was his fa- his best favorite player, best player, and he said his son. And a little nepotism uh, uh, ramblings there on Twitter and Reddit. Well, that's, that's not nepotism when you say it's your preference. Yeah, no, so no, you know, no, you're, just, you're, you're not gonna you're not it, gonna not say your kid. So it was a weird question, but that uh, is a strange question. But it's it's coming but you, to fruition. You through, I, mean, I mean, your kid is you live through it. You know, you have a kid. It's like you didn't ask that question, did you, David? You're, you're a press conference guy these days. Yeah. You didn't ask that question, did you? No, I didn't ask any questions today. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> but I couldn't hear nothing. But but uh, um, I I think he he'll do fine. I don't anticipating starting too many more games because uh, he he's shown his his inexperience and, and he probably could have done. He lost a couple of balls here and there, and he, but he did some wonderful passes. Well, I think that's one thing about that. He did. Actually He's got a really good eye. The, we were watching the game in the, in the press box together. He, he made a pass, I believe, in the first half right below us. I was like, whoa, yeah. that is. After watching Ring miss hit like well, that three was four passes. Ring. That was the pass to Lima. Lima. I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah Lima. That pass to yeah, Lima. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, was, that was really close. And really then, close. Yeah, the, the other one, to the Gallagher, the pass to Gallagher that ended up on the handball. Right. Uh, so he had very important interventions, and then in the last game he had a couple wasi assists. Right? right. So he he's been yeah, he's all right. So yeah, absolutely. So it's, it's definitely his passing. Is, so so yeah. Jorge has given him a seven out of ten. I mean, that, is that same thing? Okay, same I think thing. we're all all three same, in yeah. in agreement here. Yeah, I gave him a seven. Um, yeah. I, I saw the phrase "held his own" a lot, and I think that that's yeah, that's it. it wasn't spectacular, but no. I think he held his own, which is you know, seventeen years old. Yeah, some of us here way better. Some of us know way better than Reyes. know how to do that at seventeen, <laughs> but but most do not. Um, right. Okay, a couple other things here. Um, so th- this week overall, I want to kind of bring in the the LAFC game here as well. So right. on last week's show, we you and I, Jorge, each said that four points when it was two one win for Austin FC yeah. on the road Wednesday night in LA. Uh, you and I each said four points would represent a good week for Austin FC. They did it kind of in reverse order. A reverse. <laughs> I would have thing, expected. Well, we probably would have thought. hoped for just a point in that game, yeah. and would have you know thought that you could pull off a win against Orlando at right. home. But overall, four points. Good week. Good week. Did you say? Good yeah, week? it was a good week. It was a strange week. Strange week uh, for sure. Highest of highs. You know, beating beating <laughs> LAFC unexpected, and that may have played a little bit into. Uh, into the, uh, the play for, against Orlando, they looked a little slower. They looked yeah, a little Orlando tired. City didn't play midweek, and yeah. I think you could tell, especially early they in that match, prepared. they came out a little more, yeah, a little more fire more, in their yeah. belly. I think and, it's and fair so, to say. You know, a couple of road road games. I think they played our at RSL and at LAFC. Mm-hmm. Probably mess with their 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 fitness a little bit. Yeah. Switching so, time zones as well, and that's probably why they even started Owen Wolf to give mm-hmm. their regular starter. Gallagher, if I'm honest, uh, Finley, uh, rest. Mm. And so um, now we have, we're back to a full week of, of, of preparedness for Gal- excuse me, Galaxy in California, another road game. So um, I, it's going to be an interesting game. It's going to be a very interesting game because they just came off of a really a fairly bad loss against, against Houston Dynamo. Yeah, Galaxy in and, a rough so, run of form here lately. Yeah, they're, they've not... They they sh- they probably should have shouldn't have won here at Q two either. Yeah. So since beating Austin FC, they yeah. lost three one at home to FC Dallas. Right. They, they drew one one away to Minnesota United. Then yeah, right. that three 0 defeat at yeah. home to to the Houston Dynamo. Right. So 
Not in good form, and especially no. not in good form at home against Texas teams. Right. Chicharito, and maybe the Mexican national team doesn't want Chicharito anymore, don't need him anymore because he hasn't scored since he hasn't April 10th. Oh, yeah. It's been a while for Chicharito. Hey, Austin FC, this match against the Galaxy, yeah. is this one that, that they can get something out of? Can, can they get a point or perhaps even more, three points? I think they can win. I mean, I really do think that they can win, especially like we just mentioned they have uh, th- these three week, three games in, in a week uh, stretch uh, with two at, uh, you know, on the road, out of the way. They got here. They, you know, they, they, they got points out of a, a, a situation they really should have lost. I think uh, I think we are in agreement there. If it stayed they, eleven v eleven, 11 they I don't lost. think there's any way they, so, they get anything. And so and so they they can uh, do a sigh of relief of that they did not lose, and so that I think that's going to help them uh, give confidence that you know this and the DC United game when they came come back from a win on the road, those two are weird ways of getting points, and so <laughs> yes, very unorthodox ways of getting points. So. That, I think that gives Austin even more confidence now that that things aren't as desperate no matter what's happening in the game, that they can come back and get points. It, and so that's going to help them in their mentality going forward. It seems like a weird, almost kind of like cliche thing to say, but the belief in this yeah. team I think is really strong. And the depth. The depth. The depth, I, I think... The depth at in defense and in midfield I think is, is particularly strong. Yes. I'm not sure about... In attack, I feel like there's still yeah. I mean, I don't even know if there's enough talent in the in the starting attacking players, let alone the the, the bench. As I far mean, as the, the attacking they're, they're players, they're effectively go. playing with two DPS. Uh, the third DP, uh, we may, he shall we, remain nameless. We may never see him in Austin again. Let's, yeah. let's be honest. Mm-hmm. So they'll probably be shopping him in the summer uh, transfer window, which gives them Austin FC an opportunity to bring in. A DP type player at striker uh, that that would be that would turn so you think around striker. These... You wouldn't go for a winger. You say you would go for a striker. striker. I, so you don't, you're not sold on Rudy, Gite, Hosen. No, I think I would uh, go for like a, a, a big a big player like you know like Lukaku maybe does someone. Somebody <laughs> Tommy, like, you always dream big. Now I know Pul- Lukaku. Pul- Pulisic is kind of a little upset no, with Chelsea. Need, so. a, a, a large, right? Orlando, when when they had some close closeness, that you go the, the big pivot, the big big guy number nine, like which DK. tower, tower over everybody. In in in, in our yeah, they, they they really need someone like that. I mean, they need some, some uh, over, even, some, yeah, some even more, though, a little bit more height. I think the team needs a little bit more height. And, than, and that's why um, I say that because and and that would be a better striker because I think Uruti uh, would have no issues switching to one of the wings. That's Aruti so is all over the place. He, he, he's he's a very up. versatile player. He's so that's why all over the field. It, it isn't really a replacement don't know for if I like Aruti. It, but he's all over the place. But uh, it's not a replacement for Aruti. Mm-hmm. It's just going to give Aruti a chance to play a different part. Different role. And different role. Because depending on who they get, like I said, I, I'm an advocate of getting a DP as a striker that's also as versatile as Aruti. So they can switch places and, and, and leave a... Um, um, uh, um, I lost his name, but they can leave a Diego on 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 the left side. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, I think he prefers side. the left. It so seems like that's his. He his he, he he looks like he he does very well on that side. Yeah. Likes and to cut in, shoot on his right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So like I think that's a good natural place for him. So it'd be interest. It's going to be an interesting summer because I know that they they have to go for a DP. They have to. Yeah, absolutely. I do think so. Speaking about Diego Fernandez, real quick, I, I just want to bring up a point. I was looking up some numbers last night. Yeah. Late into the evening, just burning the midnight oil, preparing for this show for right show, here. Wow. But okay. I, I was, uh, I don't, Diego Fagundes, to me, I think he could afford to be perhaps a bit more aggressive on the wing. And yeah. I actually looked up his numbers. So amongst uh, shots taken per 90 minutes, uh, this was per fbref.com, mm-hmm. and this was amongst uh, other MLS wingers and or attacking midfielders, Diego Fagundes is only in the 21st percentile of, of those players in MLS in terms of shots taken per 90 minutes. So that means mm-hmm. 79% of MLS uh, wingers and or attacking midfielders take more shots than Diego Fagundes. I want him to shoot a bit more. I want him to be a bit more aggressive. Uh, but, David, but, what do you think? Do you think Diego could could afford to be a bit more aggressive, a bit more selfish with his shooting? More, more aggressive than more he is? More aggressive. He's not aggressive. He's only he's in the 21st percentile in terms of shots taken per 90 
amongst MLS wingers and or attackers. I don't know. That's too many stats for me. Man. <laughs> 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 the numbers got to him. You can be tweeting this stuff out. I know. I know. I love it. What have you been tweeting? You have been tweeting the numbers out to No, but, you know, this is not baseball, man. Come on. <laughs> so you're not, not a sabermetrics guy. Not, not well, a sabermetrics no, guy. Not the you. quality of his touches, well, that's what it is matter in this case. You know, the quality of he what he's been bringing to the game. He, he's been pretty solid besides those, those those touches that he has not had. But he's solid. When the, when the team is, you know, clicks in front, when Fagundes clicks, I mean, we are a different team. It's Fagundes, Drusi, uh, and uh, Uruti. All the the Erba Mate guys, those guys are the Erba Mate guys, Mate con vos yeah, guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. All those guys, it's three guys that the, and Pereira, there must yeah, be something Ampe, in that Mate. And Pereira, and Pereira also click, help with the clean Erba Mate too. Yeah, uh, but yeah, those guys are clicking. I mean, the team, the the, the the main problem really I see more with the Fagundes is ring. Alex ring, I think for me is more problem like an with issue. Fagundes is Alex ring. Yeah, the problem is that yeah. we should focus <laughs> on Alex Ring because he some sort of like it's more like if what? Okay, well, no, I was going to ask. Is you bring up a point against LAFC? Ring played deeper. We we saw him in that you know that holding midfield role. Also, he played with, with that, two the, defensive the, midfielders, which is what he played last year. Which is what he played last yeah. year. I actually thought he looked he looked pretty good. good. Pretty yeah, good. That's is really that, is that even though he played, he he he, he was one of the players that was left. You know, looking for another hip. Against the Yeah. He, no. he, Lima they, and him. They were, they were kind of dancing a little bit. Both of them were like totally gone. And yeah, they yeah. Leg with, in that position too. So but would you rather see that 4 2 3 1 with, with Ring and then, you know, either Pereira or, or Valencia sitting deeper? Yeah. And, and, as opposed to Ring yes. getting, getting more forward? Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. So I, you, uh, I want to make sure we get your Galaxy prediction here, David. So Jorge says a win. I'm going to say a win as well. What do you say, David? Uh, it's going to be a win, too. Oh, well, okay. Wow. All the, there it is. Yeah. Right there. I think the, the, you said they moved that, that start they time They moved that up, start so time right. up. Uh, it's it's now going to be Jerry, you're trying to deceive our viewers, man, with what's going on. <laughs> they, oh. they, they moved it up to that 3 p.m. Jerry's a practical joker. Yeah, they moved it? it up to 3 p.m., which uh, I hear is, is causing some chaos with, with yes. some of the traveling fans because they were going to get there just before the game, and oh, wow. now they're going to get there after the game, so hey, that's, that's I mean, going to be a problem. Not ideal. But, uh, sure maybe they it. get to the post-match party. If yeah, they'll, 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 they'll get there to uh, watch the win, Any, I guess, any final thoughts on Austin FC? we got a, a whole lot yeah. of other uh, football to get to. And anything else you'd like to well, say? Well, no, it was just a historical day. I mean, definitely for, for, for me, that's part of football in vivo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I, about I, you, I, 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 made, I made a 3-2 okay. error. And the error, of, I thought we lost the game. I'm saying I apologize to some I, of it. I want to ask you a question. So, David, you all last season, Jorge and I had to sit here and listen to you talk about Josh Wolf. Air all of your grievances about Josh Wolf. And here you were with in the, the press conference with the opportunity feet away. Me to that camera. Oh, yeah. That's how close you were to yeah, Josh Wolf. Yeah. And you didn't you didn't ask him anything. You asked him nothing. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> what, 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 what happened? I was afraid of the wolf. <laughs> afraid the big, of the, the wolf. The big bad wolf was going to get me. The big bad wolf. <laughs> Scared David. Now, now, I, now I want to ask you guys something. Uh, because I was, uh, I, was in the, I, wasn't in, I was in the supporter section, but not in the front one where I usually am. I decided to go in a different place. But you guys actually got to go into the locker room and into the press conference. How was that? Press conf, the locker room experience. How was that for you guys? I mean, it was it was incredible. So it was it's kind of like a hallway. You'd say that'd be like right outside the locker room. Yeah. I'm actually in the locker room, locker room. But man, I mean, you get you're right there. They got the cameras right up in the players' face. They got all the. I have my phone out, getting a recording of, of, of all the answers. Um, it was it was great. I mean, you get a lot a much more personable experience to, to have that kind of up close interaction. And, it, and typically, up until recent, up until literally the, this match, yeah, that match, you would just be one. one player that you would get to talk to. In yeah. this case, we had about what, four, three players. Uh, so we had Druzi, Uruti, and uh, Stuver. And Ring too. And yeah. Ring too. Yeah, so four, four, players. four players. Yeah, yeah four players were we able to did, talk to. Did you did you uh, did you get to talk to them? So or? I I actually didn't have any questions for the players. I was a little just. 
uh, kind of caught off guard. Yeah. I didn't know about this. I was kind of getting my bearings yeah. in that situation. That's a, a question to big Wolf. Big bad wolf there. But I, I, <laughs> I wasn't afraid of the big bad wolf like like some of us here. But David did ask a question to Maxi Rudy. So so David stepped up. Uh, so he, the, yeah, I asked Rudy. He have any idea about the the Austin Derby about the uh, oh, the history on the Derby. Austin. Uh, uh, the Austin Aztec, you know, going. So you're to making Orlando. sure he, he's aware of Austin soccer. Uh, what, yeah. What, so what he think? didn't know about the story, and anybody was thankful about that, and he was like, "Hey, thank you. I didn't know about the story, but you know, I appreciate uh, you know the support that we have. You know, they they, they kind of had the same. <laughs> they say the same thing it's over a, it's and over same again. Same Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's nice. It's nice educating that he's saying Austin it. FC's and players, I, it's good to Mr. to speak Alvarez. to speak Spanish with you know with yeah, one that, of that, the, that's that the other good. question and that, that's easy ask. you don't need a translation for that and, and, and it's, it's nice to get an acquaintance with, with, with the players and, and have their opinion and so we just talk with the primary sources right right Correct. everything else we say is her say yeah because like I mean I mean that's that's something that's you typically see in other American sports football especially that you have you know, beat reporters down in the locker room asking guys, and, and they, in, in a sense, they become friends, you know. Yeah. So yeah. so players are a lot more at ease because they, they know you. So but they, I'm voting for more, asking for being more prepared next time and asking better questions, I think. Yeah, that, that's that's one thing. That's don't be afraid of Ask a question to, to the big bad wolf. To the big bad wolf. Sorry, the big bad wolf. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let, let's okay. move on. Let's talk a little Premier League. You guys, Manchester City. Are your Premier League champions? Yep. Yes, because they scored three goals Deservedly. in in five minutes and thirty six seconds. Their fourth title yeah. in five seasons. <laughs> Sing it, David. <laughs> Let's ask you, David. Manchester yeah. City are they deserved champions? They finish one point clear of, of Liverpool. Very deserved. So um, I think some people predicted it long time ago. This was going to happen, and it did happen. Yeah, I, I don't know I, who said that. Well, I mean, you really went out on a limb there, picking the team that that's you that, know that was everyone's to, that everyone's everyone favorites. and their dog. <laughs> but many people predicted. picked Liverpool, right? I picked Liverpool. All right, I know I did pick a Liverpool. person on this show. Uh, picked Liverpool. I, yeah. I, you picked, you say you say Manchester City too. I said City. Yeah, I, you I, did say City. I, too. I'm not patting myself on the back for it. Yeah, well, uh, I predicted. No, no, well, you did say City. So <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's, I think it's a reward. I think and and and. and what did I say that they planned? They they planned that Aston Villa would go two two goals up and they would go come back and Guardiola planned two. that. He was joking. <laughs> <laughs> he, he better be joking. I was gonna but say he can't real, be that confident. He actually he did say that. He did yeah. say that. Yeah. And he was a joke. But I mean, what and, a way and to it, finish it was, the game! And it, and it what a looked, way to finish the the, the Premier League! What a way to finish! And yeah. then. And with all the emotions and all the games going on, the second division, championship division going, and the same day and the same time at 10 p.m. All the teams, yeah, no time no, for no, no, no time to waste and no time for uh, to think about it. Bribery, just, just, yeah, right? And all, the, all, the, all the dirty things you see in South America. I mean, right? it was it was really a very exciting game. Shades of Kunagüero when he when he his yeah, goal won that the was the shade of Kunagüero. That was amazing. The Gundo, I mean, and the substitution, like I mean, Gundogan he, as a substitution. What are your favorites? That, You've always been a, a Gundogan fan. I, I've been a Gundogan fan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, who since remember last season? You you, you highlighted him. On the yeah, show. I mean, David kind of replaced. I mean, I mean, Bernardo Silva is getting is, is gotten. I did not like him, you know, honestly. <laughs> Well, a lot I, of people I did. He did wrong. have a rough start. He, to his proved, city yeah, he proved me wrong. Sure. I mean, he's just a valuable player in, in, in Manchester City. And overall, I mean, Rodrigo and, and Cancelo, uh, it's just... Um, De Bruyne. De Bruyne, uh, Jesus. De Jesus. Jesus. I, I want to ask you, Dabby. So you... Your son is a is a big Manchester City fan. You are well. It's a big. It's a big tall one. Yeah, oh, it's tall. A tall. It's a tall, a tall Manchester City Manchester fan. City you fan. are uh, maybe not quite as tall of a Manchester no. City fan. A medium height. Did though. you, whenever Aston Villa took that two goal lead, did you foresee that City comeback coming? Yes, you did. Yeah. Okay, I did not. I thought they were. Done, I thought they were done. Yeah, I thought they were done. I did not see. I, I did not even see done. them scoring one, let alone three goals. But I mean, what, I mean, Guardiola really have done so much, and 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 it was so close during the Champions League. So close. It's like it would have been bad karma, you know, not if it's not, I haven't gone that far because I mean, Manchester City deserves of so what they've done. I mean, he could have gone their other way, but he didn't, right? So it, it, I it, think he. 
I mean, they deserve so Manchester City deserve all the credit and Guardiola so more than anybody. And I believe they want to come back because he he has it is the new spirit of Manchester City since the Mancini win, right? Since the Kun Aguero, this is a new Manchester City. It's not the loser Manchester City that keeps losing everything right. every final. Hey. Before that, right. Right. those yeah. days are gone. Yeah. So it was famous for that. Those and now, gone. I mean, this really proved that this is not that city, that this city has changed. And this city is the one that made history. Indeed, David. So I want to ask you, Jorge. Yeah. Because you, and I think you with me on this, this, this Manchester City team, four titles, last five seasons, you know, it doesn't really, they don't really warm the heart. I think it's not fair to really. say the city team. It's a bit robotic. I think that lack personality. Patrice ever accused him of lacking personality. I, I, I want to ask this: just the nature of this win, this this incredible come from behind win against Aston Villa, does that perhaps make this City team seem more likable and and less boring to you because of this comeback? Will that change how you you view them? Will you maybe not be as bored <laughs> by by all this success that they've had in recent seasons? Um. No, uh, <laughs> still, they, still boring. Uh, no, they're, they're not. It they're was not going to be better when Aguero it, did it's, it. It's he not, went, it's, he stoppage time. It, it's not that it's going to be boring. It's going to be it, it. They they do play um, a office. I would call office type play. They're just <laughs> kind of standard. Oh, and they score, and so it's not really building. Holland's going to change that next year because he's an exciting player. So yeah, an and and he, he you but know then you if could, they're good then now, you have the Lukaku effect uh, Lukaku yeah, it, effect they, and then see, yeah. it's interesting. that could happen yeah by the way but I I don't I don't think so I think he's he's just a different type of player it's just I don't think I mean it's too much of a play it's I think Holland would be a player to have in another team okay that so he could be yeah like if, you, if you look at if you look at Holland I mean the success he's had at Dortmund has mainly come. Attacking into space uh, on, on counterattacks. Right. Uh-huh. Similar to Lukaku at Inter. He's a very similar striker. He's not good aerially, even though he's a big guy. Kind of yeah, like he's Lukaku. a tall guy, yeah. Not, not, only, I think, he has six headed goals. Yeah, he's, he doesn't have that many. Not, not yeah. many headed goals. Um, and so the City team, they're usually going up against, you know, deep defenses, right. parked buses, yep. if you will, David. Uh-huh. I love is, those guys. <laughs> it's, yeah. Is it... Is it kind of like a stylistic mismatch? Because he, he's not going to get to have the open space that he's had at, at Dortmund. Is, but, is, but he's going to have better better uh, players passing the ball to him. Uh, the, 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 very, midfield, the midfield, the midfield, the uh, midfield that Manchester City has that Manchester City has is much better quality than the one that is at Dortmund. They have more experience. Uh, they are used to attacking themselves. So because there was nobody to pass to. I mean, you could you could exchange the midfield for the for the front three, and nothing would change. Yeah, that's why it's boring, <laughs> because there was no you couldn't get excited about one player because all six of them could do the same thing at any position. But now that they have Holland, he Holland is Holland. His he force is force of cent- nature. He is a force of nature, and he is a central attacker. He's not going to be in the forward. wings. He's center forward. He's, he's not going to be in the wings, so you know where he's going to be exactly all the time. So peop, all, the, all the players are going to have to get used to, we need to pass it to him. And so he's, he's still going to have a lot of, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 it, it'll be interesting. It, it's going to be a lot of fun. It doesn't sound that he fits <coughs> Guardiola's, you know. He I mean, he's, he he's not going to be the centerpiece. Definitely not. But... But people are going to want to get paid like he's the centerpiece. He's going to get paid for it, that's for sure. But... But again, um, my fear, this is kind of something I don't really like uh, uh, at all, is I like parity. That's why I like the MLS, because you never really Bad know parody. you never really know who's going to raise the MLS Cup uh, on the last day of the, of, the, of the championship. You really don't know. With English Premier League and with La Liga, you know that Chelsea, Man City, and Man United and Liverpool... It's going to be one of those four. It was kind of you for listing Chelsea yeah. there. Yeah, well. <laughs> thank you, Jorge. I don't know if I would have, but thank Historically, you. <laughs> it's kind of like that, but maybe not so much the next year. But, <laughs> but you know, the, and, and to me, that's boring. I want, well, I enjoyed the, the last real season I enjoyed for Premier League was when Leicester City won the, mm. won the championship. They were a fun team to watch oh, because yeah. it was unexpected. 
But now, everybody else has caught up, and you expect Man United to be up there. You expect Liverpool to be up there. You expect Man City. And and, the, and the rich just got richer. They're getting better. Really They're getting that. more players. So mm. Except for Chelsea. Uh, <laughs> that's a questionable. One so, day they'll be able to, to the get One day they'll players. be able to, to, to match up, but I, I, that's just me. I just enjoy that, that the, the, a different type of team. I, I, I agree with you there, Jorge. Here's a question I have for you guys. I actually saw this brought up in, in relation to, to Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga. They, right. that, is, that is the worst league as far as this oh, is concerned right now. Yeah. Ten straight, David. Yeah. Bayern Munich have, have won ten straight Bundesligas. And Boring. one thing that I saw brought up, and I want to get you guys' thoughts on this. One thing that I saw brought up about the Bundesliga, Bayern Munich, one solution that was proposed was to actually introduce playoffs into the Bundesliga to help create a bit more randomness, <laughs> create a, a champion that isn't Bayern Munich. Oliver Kahn, a, a former Bayern goalkeeper and executive now at Bayern Munich, actually was, uh, said he was in favor of this. What, David, what do you think? In favor of introducing playoffs into European soccer to help create more, more parity. I mean, it's just it's, it's a big loaded question. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, yes or no, Dominic? No, it's not, not, it's nothing, it's nothing, not nothing yes loaded or no. here. I mean, you need some more competition in the in the Bundesliga. But even though you have Frankfurt winning, uh, beating Barcelona, like do you have Borussia Dortmund, do you have Bayer Leverkusen, you have all these teams that are competing in the Champions League and all the leagues with the other other of the other teams as equal or better. So I don't, I don't think the Germans need that much. The thing is, 10 straight for Bayern, Bayern Munich. Munich is just as good as it is. I mean, just leave it like that. But the, the, it, it also brings the German league. Uh, uh, the, it takes the German league with them at a high level, too. So I don't think we need... I mean, besides playoff work for... I mean, I, I've never been very fine on playoff. It's been... A Mexican league was, like, never my best experience. Yeah. And... Uh, but anyways, they're, they're, one they're of kind of few, exciting when yeah. we, because some some teams that will never reach the 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 the, the championship they likely win many times. The last seeded team is gonna win, so you get more chances to some teams that that would never otherwise make it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know um, <laughs> because because I, if I'm not mistaken, no European league does this. They have the no European team has yeah, a league. There's some leagues a, I think where they do a like a split season. I think Belgium where they like will take like about towards the end of the season take like the top six teams will then go off and play like a, a little league kind it's of. It's like robin. Apertura Clausura in Liga MX. Yeah, a bit, yeah, a bit, no. bit like that. Um, which is yeah, no exciting game by the way. I hope we <laughs> talk about that a little in a yeah, little which bit. Is, which is concentrated looking for players, you know, like exciting players. I, so I, you, you I, we're, we're no on on playoffs in in, uh, in European soccer. I. It depends on how they want to set it up. If they yeah. if they if they do like a top four playoff, and they don't do a home and away and just a straight one just one a shot straight game knockout game and knockout game and go from there that and it doesn't take away from the thirty eight games that they already play. Mm -hmm. If they go say to thirty six games, <coughs> and then do that maybe, but it's something really honestly it's going to depend on the fans. On the spectators, if they I want to see that, I imagine there'd be some outrage. And, and, <laughs> I just have a feeling and, the European and because, fans are not because used to Germans that. are not used to seeing this. No, uh, they may not I, like I, it. I see some pushback if and, that ends up happening. Now, and the other part of the equation is the money, because it makes some money off of because a because the owners of those teams and Bundesliga is gonna make some money if there's a playoff. Mm -hmm. So they have the power to do it. Do they want to do it and accept the fans? Do they care? <laughs> I don't think so. So I, I foresee it happening, to be honest. I do foresee it happening. I, you got to do something because 10 straight, that's, that's not yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, playoff to me, you got to break that up. Yeah, you got to break that up. But hey, Juventus did it too. So. And they, they were at nine straight, I think, is, is how many they yeah. got to. Um, okay, speaking of knockout competitions, yes. we got a pretty big one coming up this Saturday. Yep. Do you know what I'm talking about, David? The big match coming up on Saturday? The big match on Saturday. Is it, is it Champions League? It is. You're right, Champions Dom. League. It's like you host a Champions soccer League. show or something. Yeah. Here we go, Jerry. What? That, that looks good. Champions League. That looks good right oh there. Oh, my God. That has Liverpool versus Real Madrid. David, yeah. where, where, are you, where are you going with this one? Who, who do you think is going to win this one? Uh, I think this one is going to be won by the best team. I think 
<laughs> the <laughs> the oh, oh, I didn't oh, think, oh, I didn't here think he comes. that it was going to Here he comes. I didn't think it was going to come to this. We're talking about uh, I haven't you can't fin- get the draw. Hey, it's hey, going to be a winner. Hey, and somehow hey, hey. the chicken of indecision. No, I haven't finished my sentence yet. <laughs> I have not finished my sentence. I'm just The chicken was ready. Hey, wait, 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 wait for me chicken. <laughs> chicken get it herself. Okay, uh, so what my prediction is Looking at these lips over here. <laughs> oh, not me. Yeah. Wow, well, well, oh my God. Chicken, huh? What are you looking at? That? <laughs> looking chicken over here. <laughs> It looks like a Liverpool. We're gonna get, this video is going to get taken yeah, down. This, this is, gonna, this is, this is, this is going video. different. <laughs> okay, this, Liverpool definitely is, 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 for me, is, is the deeper team. It's like They're more, the favorite. More depth, more depth on, on the bench, I believe so, than, than Real Madrid. And that's kind of could make the difference for me. And that depth and the, and the Luis Diaz factors of care, of course. Yeah. You Are know, you concerned about the talking, since Luis Diaz showed <laughs> up? I mean, <laughs> it's just such a solid uh, and player that it changed everything, and 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 then you have everybody else on the bench ready to come in, to, to, to come in, and we can say that the same thing for Real Madrid because remember when Real Madrid won the last game, they didn't have Cross or Luka Modric. Or yeah. uh, Vinga, very uh, good player to come in off the bench. Rodrigo, uh, very so good it, I mean, well. it's gonna be that. I mean, it's it's so tight that game that's gonna be that's gonna be the decisive factor. Are, are you concerned? It's about gonna the, be the bench. Are you concerned about the the fitness issues of Liverpool? Though I mean, uh, Thiago had to go off injured against Wolves at, at the last match of the season. Van Dyke hasn't been fully fit. Salah doesn't seem S- fully Salah fit. Salah came in late. Yeah. yeah that, are you, that does game. that worry so. you at all, David? Well, it does worry you when you're a team like Austin FC, right? But <laughs> when you're a team Liverpool like Liverpool. Liverpool perhaps a bit better. better. Uh, yeah, when you saw Manchester deeper. City, we had, we had the same worries against Aston Villa. It's like, oh, we didn't have a couple of the players. Ooh. But it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you can you get the scare, but you got the win. So yeah. Same so thing do you here. like Liverpool? You got to score. Well, it's not, I don't like Liverpool. I really do not like Liverpool. But, you know, it's like, Jesus. <laughs> I wouldn't let you, you on the show. Those guys, I, I mean, yeah. they're showing their Liverpool for what they've done. Uh, so close. Uh, and in and, and four, four competitions, I think they're closer mm-hmm. than anybody else to winning another one. And, and, and also just, I don't like Real Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a score line that you can give us? No, I, I like Ancelotti, but I would say it's going to be 3-2. Three two. It's gonna be a fun game. Three two Liverpool. It's gonna be exciting game. Three two. Okay. Uh, What do you think? It's gonna Um, go to penalties too, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's not gonna. It's three two. I don't think think it can go to penalties, David. Extra time, maybe. But anyways. Well, you can go 3-2 penalties. You get 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> zero, uh, <laughs> no, okay, so you went 3-2. Uh, it's the score in penalties. penalties. Ah, okay. okay, that's an no, 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 no. oddly well, specific prediction. All right. <laughs> but uh, you might no, not no. have to have the no, chicken. No, no, take this and, away from and, you. No, no, and, no, and the chicken has been retracted. If, if it goes in extra time, I mean, these games usually go into extra time. I mean, they, 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 they usually do. And they go into penalties. So often do. I, it's going to be who is the best penalty taker And here? Liverpool are mentality Who's monsters. Who is the better goalie, better goalie? Oh, if the, that's going to be the difference. That'd be a, Allison versus Courtois. That's a good goalkeeper. Yes. Oh, oh, Real Madrid is going to have it. Oh, and, and this, this is going to be so good. And, and here, oh, there you go. Just, indecisiveness. <laughs> indecisiveness. So you, you don't know yet. Okay. I, I do. I do love it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, give us your position. Oh, you don't want to be Go off that camera. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. I love that. Real Madrid. <laughs> Real, number one fan right here. Yeah. Welcome to the show. But anyways. Um, well, let's let you have yeah. a say here, Horace. Um, what do you think? There's two factors that I think here. One is Real Madrid won La Liga uh, several weeks back, mm-hmm. so they – they didn't really have that much pressure for the last couple of weeks. They, they knew they won, so that was it. Liverpool, week in, week out, had to produce results up until up until yesterday, yes. uh, to uh, Saturday. They to get, to get, and, and, and they, and and the they were close. Well. So does that make them tired for this final against a rested Real Madrid? It's not That's going to be the question. Rested, it's about being ready. If they're being, yeah, and they're not as injured either, so... Sadly, I think Real Madrid is going to win. 2-1. Oh. 
I, that's exactly what I was going to predict, yeah. Jorge. Uh, yeah. I, Red reality, but, for the exact win. reasons that yeah. you just said. I think the, the amount of football. Liverpool have played in the maximum number of matches that, that, it, that a team hey, can play. You know, so they, they are tired. Club, but club is not going to leave with the empty hands. But that's the other factor, that Liverpool club is such... Is such no. I, I, don't, I don't say prideful in a negative sense. In You know, they have the pride to play above their physical abilities. So they could rise and and, and, and steal this away. I, I, it's really a toss-up. I, I, I think it's going to be a fantastic game. It's going to be a great game. It's going to be a great game. I think we're just about out of time, project. David, but I want to ask you, if Liverpool don't win this, considering they didn't win the Premier League either, would this season be a disappointment to, to have gone so close in four competitions and if only win the two win cups? If they don't win this one? If they don't win. It's a huge disappointment. Yeah, yeah well, absolutely. Yeah, I, I, think I so agree. Too. Yeah, they have to win it. There's no other, no other option. And that's and that's the X factor in this tra- in this. And but then there's going to be the factor. It's gonna, there's going to be the bench of Real Madrid after the challenge. Yeah, that's true. That's the big question. Yeah, it's good. It's good okay. we I think we got to get going here. We got to allow David to have some time with the chicken. Yeah. some alone time with, with, with his uh, his chicken over there. Uh, we appreciate it. <laughs> Ton of fun as always. Thank you to Jerry Lopez working the boards. Visit clubdeportes.com. Follow us on Twitter at yeah. football Austin F U T B O L Austin. Appreciate everyone. We will do it again next week. Yeah, Rafael Leal. AC Milan. Syria. Syria, Milan, campeón.